There are many different forms of dyslexia and many different ways of describing what it is. Simply, dyslexia is a condition which makes it difficult for some people to learn to read, write and spell correctly. 18-year-old Liam Hutton from Donamead in County Dublin was first diagnosed with dyslexia when he was in fifth class in primary school. At first I was kind of upset because I didn't understand what dyslexia was and it was never really explained to me until later on in life. I got into sixth class and I met other dyslexic uh, kids. The, the whole atmosphere was just kind of uh, relaxed and I kind of, I just, I started to feel a bit better in myself. Liam wasn't so lucky, however, on starting secondary school, where he found himself back to square one. I, uh, I was put back into Irish. There was no extra help for me. It was just, like, there you're done. Like, and I, I hadn't enough behind me. Like, I, I was a lot slower than the rest, and I, I'd be afraid to ask the teacher to slow down because the people would be like, oh, he's at it again. And, and then even reading out in class, I'd be stuttering and, and like people would be trying to finish it for me and hurry up and, oh, we want to get out of here. And it's kind of quite depressing at times, like kind of going home and not feeling that you're, you're like a normal person, you were different. And it kind of hurt a lot of the times. Like. like many people with dyslexia, Liam felt isolated, knowing he was intelligent but lacking the support to realise his full potential. I knew myself that I was intelligent, like, because when I came to asking questions in class and it was just oral, like, putting your hand up, I was forced to put my hand up every time. I, I ended up doing quite well on, on my junior cert for, for someone with dyslexia, I think. So it was kind of hard to, to look at the, the, the junior results and say, right, so I do have a bit of brains here, but I, I'm not living up to my potential. Liam joined the Career Path Centre in Selbridge, a unique course run by people who themselves have dyslexia. The course aims to develop the skills, knowledge and experience of adults with dyslexia to a standard to help them enter the labour force. Mary Wafahi helps run the course. The Career Path Centre is specifically designed for adults with dyslexia. It's up and running around seven years now and uh, FOSS and the DAI got together. The DAI would be the Dyslexic Association of Ireland. They sponsor the programme and FOSS funds it. It's very unique in the sense that everybody in here is dyslexic. The students, the staff and the teachers. It's a six month course but we say it's ongoing because it's very much worked on the individual's needs. They come in here on a four week trial basis. And under that four-week umbrella, we look at how they think, how they operate. So once we, once we discover how they do it, an individual plan is set up. Now they work as a group for, I would say, about an hour of the morning through reading, discussing different programmes, comprehension, and then they go on to a spelling programme and they would do spellings in, in, with the teacher. She would show them how to break it down, how to look at it, how they see it, how they would hear it. And Jeff, have you a word? Uh, yeah, language. Language. L-I-N-G. U in the centre, and ended in A-G-E. Language. And with each programme, we have software in here and they would go then to the computer, which is another aspect of another diff a different way of teaching. have not yet realised their full educational potential. Dyslexia itself can also lead to other problems, such as lack of confidence and low self-esteem, problems which the staff themselves are only all too aware of. I was quite upset a lot of the time, but like then you'd look at it and you'd, you'd be like, well, I'm learning so much here and the people are so great. And it was, the feeling then, like, it boosts me up tremendously and I, I'd be, I'm, I'm a normal human being and it was great, like, to know that I could go on and do other things. And Not one dyslexic person is the same as the other. It's a very much an individual learning curve. Nine times out of ten, once yeah, the adult has the diagnosis, they really do want to change it. Um, when I was in the Career Path Centre, I'd done a bit of work experience for uh, the company I'm working with now, Future Bell Systems. And, uh, I was doing a kind of administration kind of slash accountancy both of them and they they asked me to go back and work for them and I'm working there now and I'm kind of they're trying to help me go on to do full-time accountancy. Not only we look at the dyslexia we look at the whole person 
and we really it's it's a, it's a great journey for them and you know once the journey begins they never go back today now i feel what's the difference everyone has some sort of disability so i don't really care about it anymore i'm more open about it i feel happier about myself i get the odd bit upset about it because yeah i still i'm not a hundred percent who is like who's perfect so it doesn't bother me anymore